Good morning readers. I, Harish Budu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles. This 15th of June 2021 opinion paper. With the Public Interest Litigation Act of India, all the ministers responsible for the 6 billion rupees beta max case would have had to refund to taxpayers more than 30 billion rupees looted or wrongly handled since 2015. 1. This 15th June. 2021 opinion paper welcomes you all and invites you to think over the key issues we will address today. It will be a short one, time is not on our side. Bon lecture. Many thanks to all those who will share it with others. Take care. 2. We will all have to pay some 6 billion rupees to Betamax, A. Eh? Following the Privy Council judgment, we will not comment on the legal wider implications. We are not a legal man, however, just consider the following points. 1. The Privy Council judgment is not good for the image of Mauritius. It was a political decision. It has also damaged the image of the Supreme Court. Of course, we are not casting any doubts or aspersions on the integrity of the three judges. 2. It is nothing but sheer hypocrisy for the ministers who are part of the collective responsibility in 2015 to now disassociate themselves from the decision to end the legal contract with Betamax. None resigned. Or raised the alarm in public interest, they were glued to their ministerial chairs with all the benefits they accrued from. Only Kuyans or other Rimbaseals will believe in the floods of crocodile tears. Make no mistake, the 2015 ministers who are waiting and shedding crocodile tears today are as guilty. 3. It is horrible at what this beautiful country is enduring at the hands of politicians from both sides of the political divide that for the last four decades the country is bleeding profusely. The economy is tragically bleeding to death. It has bled dry politicians have looted with total impunity or have made the wrong decisions. And the tragic tragedy is that the public is party to the lawsuit or bankruptcy by guilty conscience. By dead silence. By being a passive onlooker. By being a lifeless spectator. By being a submissive and receptive bystander or observer, of course, politicians have taken it all at a license to abuse and loot. Tell me, since when are we raising the alarm? 4. With that dreadful background, consider the following scandals which have greatly contributed to bleed the country dry with a silence and patient population. And please note, we are but writing from memory and the figures are not exact but are close to truth. A beta max, 6 billion rupees about. B hedging of STC and Air Mauritius, 3 billion rupees or so. C. B. A. I. Group, some 19 billion rupees. D. Coat door. Some 4 billion rupees. E. Covid medicines. About 1.5 billion rupees. F. Britam. Some 4.2 billion rupees. Former Judge Bashandamra is sleeping with the report since May 2017. J. SBM. Some 2 billion rupees fraud. H. Liverpool. About 400 million rupees and so many others. 5. And worse, fate is very very cruel to the nation. The Chief Justice, Ashraf Kornai, has not been a role model. He is still sleeping with the Amin Agarib Fakim report since March 2018, the former President of the Republic had turned it into an old Muslim affair. Though the Muslim community did not support her. Ministers and law enforcement officials, and most especially B. Om Chief, were entertained by her. Ivaro Sobrino bribed quite a few. Amin Agarib Fakim bought gold for 500,000 rupees, many Muslim lawyers of the Electoral Commission were recruited by her. Where is that report, Mr. Chief Justice? Face me in the court of law if I am lying through my teeth. You were the public prosecutor in December, 1992 when I was condemned to six weeks imprisonment, I do not mind facing you again. 6. In India, there is a Public Interest Litigation Act. In the case of Meen Agarib Fakim scandal, the Chief Justice would have been condemned to refund taxpayers all the money paid to her since 2019 also. Some 300,000 rupees per month. 7. And with the Public Education Act, 
all the ministers responsible for Betamax hedging, BAI, Cotedor, Covid medicines fraud, Britam, SBM, Liverpool, etc. would have been condemned to refund taxpayers each and every rupee. All their properties would have been confiscated. B. Listen, friends, history is my witness. Past newspapers bear testimony to my bold actions every time the nation was abused and looted. I have my own plan, but please wake up. To be continued. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.